In last two episodes we described four species of Agapornis, Agapornis canis, Agapornis taranta, Agapornis liliani and Agapornis fisheri. In this episode we will describe Agapornis nigrogenes and Agapornis personatus, so let's get started. Agapornis nigrogenes or the black-cheeked lovebird is a small about 14 cm tall, mainly green parrot with brown head, red beak and white eye rings. The primary tail feather exhibit an orange-red, yellow-black diagonal design with green ends. The feet are grayish with darker gray nails. The bird also has an orange color patch on the chest. There is no visual difference between the male and female. Agapornis nigrogenes is smaller than Agapornis personatus or Agapornis fisheri and has a characteristic posture like Agapornis liliani. Agapornis nigrogenes was discovered by a European Dr. Kirkman in 1904 in southwest Zambia along the Mugwatsi River. A British zoologist William Lutley Sclater was the first to describe the species to the scientific world and called these birds Agapornis nigrogenes. Agapornis nigrogenes can be found in Zambia, in a relatively small range between the Zambezi River in the south and the Kafui River in the north. They may occur in Zimbabwe, Botswana and Namibia. The black-cheeked lovebirds inhabits deciduous woodland, where permanent displays of surface water exist, as they need daily access to water. In the dry season, these birds may congregate in large flocks of up to 800 or more. In the wild their breeding season is from January to beginning of May. They feed on a variety of seeds, berries, fruit and leaf buds. The black-cheeked lovebird use the holes and crevices in the trees for nesting. They are not as aggressive as other lovebird species, but most aviculturists prefer to keep the pairs in separate breeding cages or aviaries. As nest materials they mainly use fresh twigs and branches and the female builds a spherical nest. The eggs are laid every other day, usually 3 to 6 in total. Incubation period is about 23 days. Chicks have light down feathers, which will turn pink after a few days. The young can be ringed once they are 9 or 10 days old. After 40 days they will begin to fledge and are fed by the parents for further 14 days. Agapornis personatus is also called as masked lovebird, black masked lovebird or yellow collared lovebird. This bird is a mainly green small parrot about 15 cm long and has a pitch black head and a yellow chest and neck band. The standards require a completely yellow chest without a red hue. The beak is red. Around the brown eyes you can see the typical white eye ring. The wing coverts are a shade darker than the rest of the body. The wing bend has a yellow edge, the rump is soft purple intermixed with yellow. The primary wing feathers have a green outer vein and a black inner vein. The tail feathers are mainly green with a paler end. Secondary tail feathers have an orange-yellow-black design in the middle. The feet are gray, the nails dark gray, visually there is no difference between a male and a female. Agapornis personatus was discovered in 1887 in the northeast of Tanzania. Dr. Gustav Adolf Fischer discovered this species and it was described by Anton Reichenau that same year. This birds are located in northern and central Tanzania about 60 kilometers southeast of Agapornis fisheri. Their habitat consists mainly of savanna, grassland with some dispersed trees and bushes. They feed on grass seeds and berries. Agapornis personatus nests in tree hollows. This birds are reportedly less aggressive in comparison to the Agapornis roseacalis. You can keep them separately in small cages or in a group in an aviary. You can keep them in a group with other Agapornis, but it is not recommended because hybridization can occur. 
Natural perches in the form of branches are ideal, this keeps their feet healthy and nimble. Agapornis personatus is an easy bird to breed. Like the other lovebird species, they use branches for the construction of their nest and with them the female constructs a spherical nest. The white eggs are laid every other day and there are usually four to five in a clutch. The young usually hatch after 23 to 24 days and leave the nest about 42 days after hatching. It is important to have clean bathing water during the breeding season. When the birds are constructing their nest they drag almost all of the nesting material through the bathing water, therefore the water must be changed regularly. In Agapornis personatus we have several mutations. We have dark factor, blue, violet factor, pastel, eno. In the next video we will talk about Agapornis roseacalis and Agapornis polarius. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to this channel, like this video and comment below what would you want to see in the future videos.